Hi guys, it's Seb1990 here and it has been a couple of days since I went on this trip to Gosport and I'm only just doing the intro. Oops, things have gotten on top of me the past couple of days. We've had a, a bit of a job on when I got home. What with girlfriend being pregnant and everything, we've had a lot of stuff to do. So, apologies for this, but basically what you're about to see is the trip that happened a couple of days ago. I already know what's happened because I've already done it. So, but just to give you a bit of a background on some of the stuff, I decided to go on this trip to Gosport, uh, which is my hometown, it's in Hampshire, it's just across the harbour from Portsmouth, for those of you who don't know, um, to go and visit my mum's parents, my grandparents, my nan and granddad, uh, because it's obviously near Christmas and we're not going to be seeing them this Christmas, so I thought I'd pop down and take the presents there, myself, my girlfriend and the, her daughter... I couldn't think of the bloody word then. Oh dear. Um, yeah. D take the presents down for them and take all the cards down and everything. Um, on my way down, I stopped at a place called Whiteley. Uh, they've got a bit, bit of a shopping centre there. And one of my friends actually works at the Costa Coffee there. And she hasn't seen me for... What would it be? A couple of years, let's put it that way. And uh, so I thought I'd stop in and surprise her. And, you know, say hello and everything. And I actually got a free coffee out of it. You know, which I was very pleased about. So, big shout out to her. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was really nice. Um, so, yeah. So, from White Shopping Centre, I went to Stokes Bay in Gosport, which is one of the beaches. Uh, I always get two mixed up. There, well, there's a, a few. There's Brown Down, Stokes Bay and Leon Solent. And I always get Stokes Bay and Leon Solent mixed up. But hey-ho, it's just one of those things. So yeah, from the shopping centre I went to Stokes Bay and sat there and drank my coffee, took a few photos that you're going to see in the video. And then the, pretty much the rest of it is self-explanatory. You'll see it in the video. So. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to try and make a few more vlogs. Hopefully they'll be a bit better than this one and hopefully a bit more evenly spaced out, not days apart from doing the actual recording and then doing an intro for it and everything. So, once again, hope you enjoy the video and we shall hopefully catch you in the next one. Ta-da! Hey guys, we are back. Um, I'm sure you've just seen from some of the photographs that have been on before this clip. I've just been sat down at the beach. I've been uh, drinking my free Costa coffee. And we are now currently heading back into Gosport. So, with the view to going and surprising my grandparents probably won't do any video in whilst I'm in there but we shall see we shall see so once again we shall bring you back at some point in the not too distant future I don't know how well you can see it or not, but that is my old house, number 53. So the bottom window you see there would have been the old living room, and the top window was obviously mum and dad's bedroom. My bedroom was round the back. So there we go, my old house in Gosport. God, it's it's oh, it's small. It was very.
this is one of the risks that you take when you come in to surprise people. Just arrived at my grandparents' house. My nan's car isn't on the drive. Just rung her phone and she's not answering. So I don't know whether she's still at the shop, which she does charity work for, or whether she's driving home, or whether she's gone out somewhere else. So, I'm not sure if my granddad's in, and he's probably asleep. So, knocking on the door won't do any good. The dog might wake him up, but I don't want to set her off barking for granddad not to come down. So, what I'm going to do is sit about and wait, I would say. So, hopefully, I'm going to put some footage up of me driving it around. There's a dog that's just come running out the park. I don't think uh, it's got an owner. Because he's just run out and uh, nobody's followed him out. He's just run up, off, run off up the alleyway. <laughs> I think somebody's shouting him. So, so yes. So, hopefully, they should be in, well, my nan should be in very shortly. So, I'll keep you updated. Hello guys, we are now on our way home. Hopefully you've seen a couple of, I don't know, it's really dark on that. Oh well. Hopefully you've seen a couple of photos of uh, me uh, grandparents' dog. I'm hoping you have. Please turn <laughs> the next right, then leave the round so, at the second exit. That is my little trip down to Gosport done. I've uh, delivered presents and things that I needed to. Are you stopping? No, you're not. Okay. Oh my good god. Bloody learner driver. Right, okay. Yes, I've delivered all the presents that I need to. And, uh, yep, we are now just waiting to go back home. Well, waiting to pull out onto the road so I can continue my journey to go home. But with it being quarter to five, it is uh, technically rush hour. So, this is going to be interesting. Leave the roundabout at the second exit, then leave so, the roundabout yeah. at the second exit. So, I shall bring you back a bit later on. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> Well guys, that is it. That is the end of my little journey. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe to it, uh, to it, to the channel. And hopefully, I shall do a few more vlogs and hopefully they'll be better. So until then, catch you guys later. Ta-da!